Do you ever wish that you could go back in time and pick up a credit card that's no longer open to new applicants? Hi, everybody. Dugras here with Dugras Reports. Well, you can't. But we're going to talk about it anyway, just for fun. Here are three credit cards that you can't get anymore, but wish that you could. Let's dive in. Number one, the IHG Select MasterCard, sometimes called the Rewards Club Select, and this card was issued by Chase Bank. So I'm not sure how long this card has been closed to new applicants, but in my best memory, it's been at least three years. This card earns 5x at IHG Properties and a terrible 2x on gas, grocery, and dining. Now, I value IHG points somewhere around 0.7 cents per point, roughly. So that's a return of 1.4% cashback equivalent on those categories. Ick. However, the giant upside is that you get a free 40,000 point free night certificate each year on your card anniversary for an annual fee of just $49. What can you get for a free night certificate for $49? Let's look at some examples. Here's the Holiday Inn in San Diego Bayside for $210 per night, not including tax. But if we switch to points, we see that we can use that free night certificate since it's only 38,000 points per night. Looks like a pretty decent place to me when I take a look at the pictures and it gets a four and a half star rating roughly, outdoor pool, and is it just me or does it look like the palm trees are growing out of the roof here? Hmm. Here's the Hotel Indigo in downtown Dallas, Texas, coming in at $246 per night before tax. However, if we look at the points price, it comes in at exactly 40,000 points per night, allowing for the use of that free night certificate. Of course, the points price will vary night to night. This is rated over four and a half stars and looks pretty bougie to me, a place I would be happy to stay. Of course, there's a whole bunch of Holiday Inn Expresses and Staybridge Suites and those kinds of IHG hotels that you could use this 40,000 point free night certificate for as well. However, it's important to note that multiple data points suggest that these free night certificates cannot be topped off with additional points unlike other IHG free night certificates. So you will be limited to exactly 40,000 points or less. However, for only $49 a year, that's a steal. If you have this card, keep it as long as you can. On this particular YouTube channel, I talk about finding epic value, including, but not limited to, credit card rewards for the average American. If that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to the channel and please click the like button. Let's keep going. Next up, we have the City Prestige card. With a moderately high fee of $495 a year, this card features five points per dollar spent at restaurants, airlines, hotels, and cruises. As far as perks, you get Priority Pass Select, an annual travel credit of $250, to offset that fee in part, and two fourth night free awards through City's travel portal. City issued memberships for Priority Pass still offer the restaurant benefit. So you can not only visit Priority Pass lounges, you also get to use this on Priority Pass dining. Although I've not personally had a lot of experience using City's travel portal, it's my understanding that the prices are fair enough to absolutely make that fourth night free worthwhile when you book a hotel stay of four nights or more and only have to pay for three. If you have any experience using the portal with City, put a comment down below and let us know so we know if that's worth it or not. But I can tell you that with the annual fee being $500, roughly $250 in credits, plus that fourth night free, if this was a card that I had, I would be holding on to it for dear life. And City, can you please issue your new premium card? Thanks. And last but not least, the Wells Fargo Signature Visa card. Oh, I forgot to put an image on the screen. Um, oh, here it is. This is what it looks like. Yes, I personally have this card. 
the little stage coaches running across. I got this card somewhere around 2008. It's actually kind of hard to find images of what it looks like because the card is pretty obscure, but here's some clip art that I found online that's close enough. This card offers one point per dollar on every purchase, period. And on the earning side, that's it. You might be thinking to yourself, Dugras, that's a pretty pathetic card. Why are you keeping it and why are you bragging about it? Well, this card has a really unusual superpower. When you book flights through the Wells Fargo travel portal, it gets a 1.5x modifier on those flights. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, that's pretty cool, but it's not that unique. For example, the Chase Sapphire Reserve does the same thing. The U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve does something similar through their real-time rewards. The difference is those two cards have pretty high annual fees. This guy does it for no annual fee whatsoever. So if you think of it like this, let's say you also have the Wells Fargo Autograph card, which I do, and you combine it with this guy, you can earn your points here at 3x on a bunch of things like gas, dining, etc. Move it over here, get those portal flights with the 1.5 modifier. With this team, you're effectively earning 4.5% cash back equivalent on all of those category purchases, assuming that you're willing to use it on flights in the Wells Fargo portal. Now, I know there are lots of discussions about the limitations of travel portals and those kind of things, but generally speaking, if you put in your frequent flyer number, which it allows, you still get your credit for any sort of uh, points that you're trying to earn with the proprietary system. For example, if you are booking on American Airlines, it'll give you the option to put your American Airlines frequent flyer number in there and have any AA status recognized, and you can pull it up on your American Airlines app. I've done that before. It works. I've actually used this somewhat frequently, probably four to seven times since I got into Points and Miles. It does work. I've also found it to be fair pricing that's not really inflated, or if it is inflated, it's just such a teeny tiny amount that the 1.5 modifier is still well worthwhile. Do you have any grandfathered cards that are no longer open to new applicants and are you clinging onto them for dear life? If you are, put comments down below and let me know what your experience has been. If you really like to nerd out on this kind of thing, then you would love joining the Dugras Diehards. I'm going to put some names of the channel members on the screen here. These folks have joined for only $3 a month and get access to special members-only videos that are generally either too nerdy or too socially sensitive for the full YouTube algorithm to lay out there. Plus, they get early access to most of my videos in general. So click the Join button on any of my videos to become a Dugras diehard. Thank you so much to those of you who are a diehard. And as always, may your spending be frugal and may your points be plenteous. Thanks for watching.